Hey, my young and the restless fans. Yes, we are back. We have a roller coaster of an episode, and yeah, we got to talk about it. First, we see Phyllis is pleading to have mercy on her in court. We also get a shocking decision from the judge with regards to her sentencing. And guess who's back? Lucy is back. Welcome back to CBS Soap Dish Recap, where we recap everything CBS Soaps, both the young and the restless, and the bold and the beautiful. This is your young and the restless recap for August 9th. And without any further ado, let's talk about this episode. So let's start over at the GCAC where somebody is getting a surprise visit, especially when Daniel enters his suite and is surprised to find his daughter Lucy waiting for him. Now Lucy expresses her concerns about her mom and playfully teases Daniel. They exchange a very lighthearted banter about smiles and try to brighten each other's day. Lucy is concerned about her dad. However, Daniel assures her that he's okay. Okay, and she asks about the trial. He tells her that Heather's a great attorney, but Phyllis does get in her own way. However, he is worried that Summer will lose more after already losing so much. So now we're over at Chancellor Park where Daniel and Lucy run into Mariah, and she admits that she came back to town to check on her dad. And Mariah thought that was pretty darn sweet. Now he admits that it's weird for him from time to time, and he's trying to be a better father and a man because that's what the women around him deserve and he's working on being the kind of person who steps up rather than steps back he doesn't have the energy to watch the people he cares about ruin themselves anymore and mariah accuses him of being judgmental now he explains who mariah is connected to and she admits that she's not a fan of summer they talked about perfectionists and expecting perfection from other people and if daniel wanted therapy you maybe need to be talking to Sharon. Now, Mariah talks about how unique her baby is and how she would do what she needs to do and it would be all on her own timeline. People change when they want to, but it can take a long time and be difficult. You have to give people you love the space to do just that. Now, Mariah hopes everything is going to work out with Phyllis. She's a new mom and she's trying to get a hold of this thing and knows that it's special when you have a mom in your life and and she hopes Aria feels the same way about her one day. Now, once she and the baby take off, Lucy asks her father to take her to see Phyllis. And he thinks, wait a minute, we need to hold off on that. Now we're over at the jazz lounge where Summer bumps into Chance by the entrance. And he can tell she is a big ball of nerves. He reminds her that, look, I'm trustworthy. We're friends. And then she admitted that she'd like to talk but doesn't know how to explain it. All she can say is that everything has changed. So they head over to the club and she explains that after the latest fight with her mom, her eyes are finally wide open and it's like she had this whole personal earthquake and everything is shifted. It's like being on a roller coaster and realizing that there's no turning back. She says that she's letting go of her mom, but she's in charge of her own fate and she can't change her. There's no going back to Kyle either. That means that she got to move forward. So she has this whole weird energy since she's been letting go of all of this crap. She's feeling liberated like she could do something dangerous. She has all this energy that she needs to get out and ask him to come with her. Now, he's sure a roller coaster is what she needs, but he needs to finish some reports this afternoon. Now, she promises not to tell anyone how scared he gets. However, Chance took a rain check and offers to show her how brave he is another time. And then Summer decides to ride a roller coaster and she is screaming. So now we're over at the coffee house where we have Phyllis, Heather, and Christine as Phyllis is ready to plead guilty. They head over to meet Judge Frank. Franklin, Phyllis pleads guilty and emotionally recounts her involvement with Stark and her motivations. She expresses remorse, admitting to the crime, but describing herself as a terrified victim. Christine is emphasizing the importance of the law and maintains her position. Heather speaks in Phyllis's defense, citing her character and suggesting Christine's biases. Now, Judge is asking Phyllis for her perspective on an appropriate sentence, and then Phyllis 
Phyllis acknowledges her loss of respect and trust and pleads for a chance to make amends. She appeals for the opportunity to become a better mother and a better person. And then we hear the sentencing decision. The judge reviews Phyllis's case, decides on the sentence. Phyllis is sentenced to community service and probation, much to Christine's disappointment. Now, Christine warns Phyllis, you better not squander the chance that you've been given. Phyllis and Heather discuss the outcome, and then Phyllis' desire to do right by her kids as well is part of the conversation, too. Chance and Christine discuss the case and Paul's voicemail as she's headed out of town because Paul want to talk about the future of their relationship. We then, at the end, see Phyllis express gratitude and determination to use this chance wisely, and you better. Let's get to work, Phyllis, because you should be having a job over at Adustus. Okay, so there you have it, your Young and the Restless recap for Wednesday, August 9th, 2023. Stay tuned for the Bold and the Beautiful recap also for today. And until the next video, like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Bye. Thank you.